Welcome to Mic Up or Shut Up. This is Big Dog. I'm here with Chris and Angie and my wife, who sometimes is negative about things, Miss Reagan. How you doing this <laughs> evening, Miss Reagan? Apparently, I'm negative. <laughs> you didn't know that before I just said it? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. This is uh, episode 10 in the middle of the Halloween month. That's some people's favorite holiday of the year. So we're going to try to uh, give you some interesting information today and have a little conversation about some Halloween stuff. Trick or treat, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> what you think? Oh, I hate holidays, so. Yeah, you definitely are, once again, negative. <laughs> you don't like any holidays? That's correct. Heard. Wow. I don't even like my birth date. Wow, okay, all right. We well, did say no? negative. Yep. You do share it with We're off to a good start. Well, right? It's going to be a good show. It's going to be a good it's show. It's going to be a heck of a show. A heck of a show. <laughs> so as i got to Angie... alter it a little bit. You do. You do. I'm trying, Reagan. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh -oh. As Angie was just saying, I share a birthday with one of my children. The reason why I share that birthday is because I figured once I had a child on my birthday, it would no longer be my birthday. It would be his birthday. You, you intentionally had sex nine months before your birthday so you could have another person to have that same birthday? No. <laughs> I had my child induced on my birthday so that I would not have a birthday. You give her far too much credit for pre-planning stuff. <laughs> she does not plan stuff ahead. You understand me? <laughs> that is not something that your sister does. It's okay. I don't plan shit. No, I think I'm just very fertile in May. Is that what it is? Yeah. Heard. All our kids were born around that time, or due around that time, actually. That's true. I don't they're, know. That's too much March, math. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. that's when the twins were due. They may not have been born then, but that's when they were due. Due. Right. On a uh, tangentially <laughs> yeah, this related is, topic. This is, an odd, this is not where I thought this episode was going to go. <laughs> this is interesting. Okay. So, <laughs> yep, this is what happens. I let somebody else take point and do yes. the introduction, and automatically we just start going in some crazy direction. Yes, That's all right. it, definitely, That's it definitely went <laughs> sideways fast, didn't it? So, let's talk about some Halloween shit, goddammit. We can only Halloween. do this one month of the year, so let's do it. Trick or treat, bitches. Yep. So, so trick or treating. I think I should be able to go trick or treat. I'm 50 years old. If I put a costume on and walk down the street and knock on your door and say trick or treat, bitches... You should give me some candy, right? Except people are, will think you're there to rob them. Yeah. <laughs> but it's Halloween, though. They know what I'm coming yeah, for. I can't imagine that they're going to tell you no. Right? When they see you standing there, they'll be like looking at a leather face. But I'm going to be dressed up, though. I'm gonna, maybe I dress up like Barbie. <laughs> yeah, and they're still going to be thinking, oh, my God, give him whatever he wants. Yes. In that case, then I'll get a lot more than candy. That's and it'll correct. be very lucrative. It could be the best holiday of the year. <laughs> you might start liking Halloween. And then you may see your costume on a wanted poster. Hmm. Do they have a wanted poster? <laughs> what, what is this? Something we're in the 1800s dollar? again. No, because of all the houses. You'd be wanted dead or alive, buddy. <laughs> Think about it. All the houses he would have trick-or-treated at, and they gave them all their stuff because, you know, they didn't realize he was actually trick-or-treating. Will have reported him to the police, <laughs> and the police will only have your costume to go by. I, I, think, I think we have to get back to this wanted poster. Do you think wanted posters still exist? Like, do you really believe that's still a thing? Don't I they mean, have them for the FBI? Yes, that's Probably correct. My whole that's silver. correct. Oh, we wait. were recently in an FBI office, and we saw the Top 10, 10 most, wanted. most wanted. Yes, but that's not a wanted poster. That's a tin. It was on paper. America's top okay. ten most wanted. Wanted paper. It's a wanted flyer. Okay, so and you'd it be does, a they don't put flyer. them in every place. They only got them at the FBI office. And the post office. No. You sure? No. I think they put them in the post office. <laughs> Chris, what is happening right now? <laughs> We're talking about wanted posters. All right. You yeah, think they right. exist? You think they're like? Oh, I don't. <laughs> Do they offer you ten pieces of gold for somebody's head? I think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Well, I, got <laughs> Are a, you I got a new way to earn a living, I'll tell you that. Yeah. 
we could go collect on all of the bounties. What? That's it. Yes. <laughs> all right. So back to uh, how the fuck did this go from Halloween to wanted posters? Well, it, it's it's. It's tangentially related. So, did you want to say something about you? I know that you have complained before about uh, people being too old, which is why I guess you brought it up being right, too old sure. and trick or treating. Well, we have been giving out candy the last couple of years, two or three years, and um, we every year have at least two or three older children, I guess you'd say, teenagers definitely too old to be trick-or-treating come with their little walmart bag no costume no effort put into it at all asking for candy <laughs> well you're failing me. <laughs> the audience Sorry. is going what the hell is that noise while ready to start so my opinion on that i mean i give them the candy just to not cause any issues but my opinion on that is they shouldn't be trick-or-treating they're, at least wear a costume. At least wear a costume. Right. I, am, I mean, don't just agreement. walk around in your school clothes with a Walmart bag asking for candy. Well, yeah, I agree with that, too. But I'm, I, and like I said, I'm 50 years old. If I put a costume on, I should be able to participate. Don't put an age limit on it. Don't tell me I can't go have fun on Halloween just because I'm 50 years old. You could participate, but you should not be asking for candy. What you mean? That's what That's you have part kids of the fun. for. I want my Reese Pieces. That's what you have kids for. Oh, Candy so, tax. So I bring the kids up to the door and say, look how cute my little kid is. He's Hell dressed yeah. like a transformer. Give him some candy. And Hell then you yeah. take him home and eat the candy? Candy tax. Hello. Mm-hmm. You know, I used to have a neighbor who was pretty sketch. He had been to prison. And uh, he and I actually were discussing this once about uh, people too old to trick-or-treat. So we had come over to plan where, because I was too old to trick-or-treat, I would <clears throat> go out down the street and get... Walk, start walking with a group of young kids and then uh when we got to his house you know start trick or treating and uh by the time we got to his house he would he had uh some blanks to a pistol he had i don't know why he had blanks and uh so the plan was i would show up with the kids ask for candy and he would say hey you're too old to be trick or treating and i would start having words with him and he'd pull out his gun and he would pretend to shoot me Ooh. you know to scare the crap out of the other Trigger treaters, but we ended up not doing it because it turns out that the law frowns upon such a prank. I would imagine. I would imagine it does. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I live in <laughs> Russia. <laughs> yeah. You can you imagine the nine one one phone calls? I just witnessed the homicide. <laughs> this man was telling this other man that he's too old to trick or treat, so he killed his ass. <laughs> yeah, it didn't happen, unfortunately. <laughs> Weren't you in high school? Um, when you dressed up or you had arrows <coughs> sticking through your chest yes, or right. it, it looked that yeah, way at least uh -huh, yeah yeah that it was, was... A, it was a homemade costume my uh yeah made it look like i was shot with like three or four arrows yeah, yeah. did you get arrested no i did not get arrested you yeah. did that when, when yeah. you got older too yeah also yeah i did that same <laughs> costume when i was married to her yeah i want to yeah. know about you when buddy. you were married to me okay yeah your buddy that was in prison did you ask him how he felt about his cellmate <laughs> no, I didn't because he was. No. Do they do they still write letters? <laughs> just yeah, no, I didn't ask him about that kind of stuff. What kind of relationship yeah. they have now? No, 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 no. That guy was pretty sketch. Oh yeah, you yeah. you were afraid. <laughs> yeah, I really didn't want to. Yeah. No, yeah. I get that. I get <laughs> yeah, I really didn't want to antagonize him too hard because <laughs> you didn't want to end up being the cellmate replacement. Yeah, yeah he didn't Understood. just have blanks if you follow me. <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> Trick or treat's fun though, man. No, Why I... should you eliminate people from being able to do that? Although. No. We do still participate in Halloween as adults. We just do booze parties right. where you dress up in costumes, right? Right. So people do costume parties and right. everybody gets drunk and tore up. And then. Well, some parents dress up while they're trick or treating with the kids. Really? You've seen that before? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. If I had kids, I would theme. dress up with them. Yeah. A theme. I like it. Sometimes I. Yeah, we used to. Uh, when we lived in Lake Charles, we did we did uh, movie nights. There was a there was a core group of like ten of us, and we would do movie nights at least once a week. We would all get a, go to somebody's house and watch a movie. And uh, on Halloween, we would dress up and uh, you know go out to eat and come home and watch movies and stuff. So yeah, even as adults, we we still did it. Fun, yeah, fun awesome. stuff. Yep, some good times. We don't participate in any hollow any holidays at all over really in this house, don't we? 
I want, just, whose fault is that? That is untrue because well, you because Christmas. I have children, I do holidays. I just don't like them. Begrudgingly, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's, I, I don't think we do, to be honest. Even begrudgingly, we still don't do it. Agree to disagree. Okay. Marriage therapy again? We I guess so. I guess, uh, well, just, I guess just one week of marriage therapy is not enough. <laughs> no, we <laughs> you got to keep going. Therapy. You got to keep going. Definitely uh, week week two. Therapy. Week two. We're going to work on holidays this week. <laughs> Don't worry. We've had a Christmas tree up for almost a year in our house. Holy crap. Yeah, somebody don't want to take it down. Oh, holy I, don't, crap. I gotta I take it down and I gotta put it back up. Or I can just leave it up <laughs> and live with it the whole year. <laughs> yeah, it. you okay. know, Christmas is a frame of mind. <laughs> There's a smart okay. way to do that, though. If you don't take it down, you just take the decorations off, and for like Thanksgiving, you put turkeys on. <laughs> yeah, and then for Mardi Gras, you put purple and yellow and green ribbons, and then you know for. February fourteenth, you put uh, <laughs> cupids and hearts, and I mean, you can just decorate it different for every holiday, and then it doesn't never have to come down. No. Yeah, he didn't do that. Yeah. No, I'm lazy. I'm lazy. That's why I have this beard. Yeah. According to my grandfather, uh, only lazy people have beards because they don't want to shave. I don't know. Maybe your grandfather doesn't realize that beards are cool now. They are cool. Oh my God! If I had known, Jesus. Okay, all single men out there listening to this podcast, because I want this podcast to be informative. Not just funny. Not just funny. Mm-hmm. Educational. That's right. That's right. Gonna, we want to be help, helpful to our Indeed. listeners. So if you're single and you want to just start bagging tons of chicks, you do two things. One, you put on a wedding ring. Mm-hmm. And two, you grow a beard. And okay? then and then it's they just fall over. I mean, they, yeah, they just start throwing themselves at you. <laughs> I remember when I got married and I was like, where was all this goddamn attention when I was single? Mm-hmm. They have Women have this weird attitude about, oh, my God, he's got a ring on. He's not afraid of commitment. Which doesn't make any sense, because if I get with you a cheating ass, then I am afraid of commitment. I think that's not true. I don't think it's because you're not afraid of a commitment. I think it's because you're already committed to somebody else, so they don't have to worry about having you committed to them. Well, maybe that's what it is. So it's an easy stop and rob. Right, right, right. right. I'm going to stop real quick, catch this lick, and then I'm going to be out the way and not have to worry about him chasing me because he's married already. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Maybe they just yeah. want a little one hit quitter. Well, whatever it is, guys, uh, do it. Yeah, yeah. Do definitely. it immediately. You will, I fully recommend. You will thank me later. Yeah. I mean, I can't. I, every time I go to the damn grocery store, I got to point down on my chin and go, "Hey, ladies, my eyes are up here." <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I think your sister thinks you're full of shit. Well, she's wrong. It was hard for me at first, to be honest, though. My wife told me, oh, I like the beard. I want you to grow the beard. I did a no-shave November one year. Okay. I said, okay, I'm not shaving. No November, the whole month of November, not shaving. Well, a little hair started to grow. And she says, oh, I like it. I don't think you should shave it. So then I said, okay, I'll keep it a little while. And then it got long, and it's really itchy and scratchy. And I didn't know what to do with myself because when I lay down my head on my pillow, it would get all crunched up, and, it, oh, it was just driving me nuts. Mm-hmm. I couldn't stand it. Yeah. But she expressed a slight bit of attraction towards me when I had that. And I've never felt that before, so I wanted to keep that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so I had to fight the itchiness. But now it's natural. Now it's okay. It doesn't it doesn't itch as much anymore. <laughs> I want to know. There was no attraction involved at all to get it together. Right. I wish people could see me rolling my eyes I every think, time he said stupid shit like that. I'm pretty that. sure they can feel it through the microphone. <laughs> Back to Halloween. Oh, man, I forgot. I forgot it was Halloween. I was just stroking my beard. Lovingly. <laughs> well, I love my beard. I'm never going back. I can tell you that right now. I probably can't because I shaved it one time, and my 16-year-old daughter told me, uh, never do that again. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> she legitimately no. said, never do that again. Dad. Right. No, I can understand that because, I, yeah, I grew a beard for a while, and I shaved it off, and then I looked in the mirror, and I was like, why didn't anybody tell me my chin looked like this? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm ugly. <laughs> Oh, but let's make sure we let the guys know, the single guys, mustache with no beard, no. Pedophile city. Well, Magnum P.I. I disagree with you. I agree with you, but I think that there's a large portion of society that feels differently than that. It's very, very hard to pull off a mustache with no beard. Unless you're Tom Selleck, I'm just saying. That's what I'm saying. Very few people can do it. I think you're confusing having a beard with no mustache. 
No, I'm not. That is super hard to pull off. No, I am not. (laughs) Paul Skeens has a mustache. Yes, and it's pretty... Not pretty. It's like 70s porn star. Yeah, it does. It really looks bad. I wish he wouldn't have it, personally. (laughs) Yeah, he's, you know, he's trying, but no, it doesn't work. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, something that happened in the news a couple of days ago in New Orleans, there's this, uh... Did you say New Orleans? Yes, I did. How am I supposed to say it? New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. I don't know. I'm not even you know, from South we, Louisiana, I just don't think and I know. We do the Orleans. That, the Illians. No, I actually pronounced it like that until I married you. New Orleans. Mm-hmm. You really said New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Wow. Holy crap. New Orleans. Is that how you want me to say it? No. New Orleans. New Orleans. It's New Orleans. All right. Whatever. Wow. Well, I, I know. I'm you, from North Louisiana. From? I know no. that. Well, you were born and raised right here. Weren't I know. Well, so I. Where were your people from? From here. I'm assuming that I'm saying it correctly. That's how everybody knows. Whatever. Well, no. It's whatever. Okay. Whatever. Now I'm all embarrassed about the way I say things. <laughs> I don't think it's that hard. You know, but I just never, I mean, I don't know. I guess, you know, people that are not from Louisiana say New Orleans right. or New Orleans. You know, yep. I don't know. I don't I guess know. It's different. Yep, me either. I don't say man as. <laughs> Do you say man as? I hope not. <laughs> How you say? I say mayo. How about that? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Yeah, yeah mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So there's some people that's that correct. say mayonnaise or mine ass. Where are you getting the eye from? <laughs> anyway, that's also not on top. No, it's definitely not on top. That's tangentially yeah. related. Two weeks though, we've been having trouble staying on top. That's all right. That's all right. We're going we're gonna to figure out how to do this podcast thing one day. Yeah, you go ahead. So, I'm sorry. No, that's cool. So, um, I don't know. These, this house has been doing, you know, where they decorate their entire yard in a theme every year for Halloween. So I guess they've been doing it for like five years or so. And this year, they have uh, decorated their yard in such a way that everybody that lives in the neighborhood's offended. So they've been getting on the news lately and, and uh, being interviewed about it. So uh, the reason why everybody's getting offended is because the um, Halloween decorations are, there's a Jesus that's, you know, like crucified, arms out, you know, mm-hmm. except he's beheaded. And Satan is holding his beheaded head next to him. And then there is a, uh, a nun and a priest on either side of, of Jesus. And one of them is disemboweled. I don't remember which. One of them is disemboweled and the other one is like cut in half. And then the yard is full of uh, pews, which it has like demons and shit like that. Uh, you know, I guess at the service or whatever. Okay, so basically so, Satan's church. Right, basically, yeah. Basically, right. It, right. And so uh, a lot of people are, are upset about it. And, he, and the guy is like, you know, I didn't do this to offend people, which lies. Right. Of course he sure. did. Yeah. And uh, so people want him. The reason why he's on the news is people are trying to get the law to force him to take the decorations down. So which the law was saying is not really a law that says he can't put up crappy decorations that Absolutely offend you not. in his yeah. yard. Because yeah. basically that's freedom of speech. It is freedom of speech. Yeah. Now. Uh, yeah, I, so freedom I, of decoration. No, that's right. I, I have I have uh, <laughs> two things to say about this. One, he absolutely one hundred percent did it to offend people, so that people would talk about it, which we are helping in that. But I don't give a shit. We got to talk about something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, because we would be talking about beer. Just right. So right. I think they would prefer there to talk about this. There was four different YouTube stories about <laughs> it. Yeah. So I mean, four he, different news stations, he accomplished so. what he wanted to accomplish, and I don't believe that he should be forced to, even though it's a tacky, ridiculous. Uh, decoration. I don't think he should be forced to take it down. Um, right. I, I am not for that. However, Agreed. I will say this: um, if the decorations portrayed another religious icon being beheaded, I'm not going to say the one. You, 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 I'm saying you don't want me to say the one, but let's just say that another religious icon was shown being beheaded. They would be forced to take it down. It's just because it's Jesus that it's not being forced down. Otherwise, it'd be hate. I just want to say that. I think we can all agree that that is 100% what would happen. Buddha? <laughs> yeah, talking about yeah, Buddha. Yeah, talk about if we showed no, Buddha yeah. being no, beheaded, no, it would be not forced Buddha, to take not it. Not Buddha. <laughs> so, I'm just saying, everybody out there knows who I'm talking about. So, there it is. There it is. She goes, she's over here slapping me right, right now. Right. Saying, don't say don't it. Say don't it, say it. Don't say it. Let's not get canceled until we get into, uh, you know. I don't even know what Allah looks like. Do you know what Allah looks like? <laughs> Okay, so I isn't Halloween yeah. a pagan She's like, holiday? whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Everybody's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want to be beheaded. That's fine. That's a fair. That is a fair argument. 
That was a fair is argument. Isn't Halloween, was, isn't it stored as a pagan holiday? Of course. Yes. Everything's so, stored as a pagan holiday. To me, Every holiday. that sounds like it goes right yep. right with the theme. Yep. Right? So they're right. just going to the I think you should roots. be allowed to do whatever you no, want to do. No, I think you should be allowed tacky? to do it too. Yes. I think it's, it, when I, I saw it, I was like, ooh. I'm just saying he picked Christianity because he knew he'd get away with it. Well, That's he clearly wanted to get attention. He definitely wanted to get attention, which he achieved. So, which he achieved, but I'm just saying, if he had gone another route, he would have got a different kind of attention, which he would not have wanted. Right. Well, there are literally pregnant nun costumes. Right. That yes. guys which wear. Which are hilarious. E- or people wear every yep, year. Every year. And yet, I've never seen it on the news. Yeah. It is what it is. No, it is what it is. Yeah. It's it's that right to freedom of uh, decoration. Yep. Yeah. I say whatever. Right. Was that, was that like the Thirty Sixth Amendment? Something. Decoration. I mean, so, yeah. I mean I it's not. I believe so. You're not burning the flag, so I'm good with it. Right, right. That's actually something. Uh, not to get into politics, but yeah, I think it should be a law that you can't burn the flag. That, but that's yep. all I'm saying. Right. But it's flag. not though. It's not. It's unfortunately, not it's There's protected by that same freedom of speech. Yep. So there it is. So they can and if flags. you believe in freedom of speech, you have to believe in it, even when it's a disagreeable. It's, yep. Something you don't believe. Yep. For you, right? Yep. So yeah, I don't think that we can disagree with the that particular action. Right. All right. So, let's see. Next topic. Uh, haunted houses. So, I think only one of us here has actually ever gone through a haunted house. Is that correct? Uh, yes, I you? have. Yeah. Uh, it was years I, ago. Yeah. See, I was in a haunted house. I participated in, in the... I was an actor in a haunted house, but I didn't go through the fucking haunted house. That's the story I'll tell after you tell your story. Go. Well, I mean, I don't remember all of it, but it was um, a group of us went together uh, it was at LSU on campus in one of the buildings, the, you know, the classrooms and stuff. And I remember each room, you know, was set up a different way. One was like a jail cell. One might have been an, uh, an operating room. But, like, the craziest thing was, oh my God. Uh, <laughs> like, they had a chain. Of course, they had a chainsaw. You know, right. everyone yeah, that's, had that's, a chainsaw. That is such a trope. But... Yeah. The classrooms, I mean, LSU has old buildings, so the echo of everything right. was so right. loud, you know, and I mean, it was scary. The, the lights were very dark and everything. It was very scary, and I mean, we traveled in a group, thank goodness, because I, I don't scare easily, but it was creepy. Well, unfortunately, I, I don't know how this has happened, but I have somehow never gone through a haunted house. I plan to remedy that. I don't know how that's happening. I went through some little but, shitty ones. You yeah. Know, just like somebody put some together some stuff in the basement of yeah. their house or yeah. something. You know, but never really did one of the professional ones. Right. You know? That's actually a dream of mine is to open a professional haunted house because I have a gimmick, which I would not reveal on this podcast because it's that good, that would happen at the beginning of the haunted house that would make everybody going through shit their pants the rest of the way. I cannot mm-hmm. wait to pull it off. It would be amazing. Love it. I've told a few people. I told her, my wife, a few her. close friends, <laughs> and uh, they've all been like, oh my God, that's a great idea. But since it costs like a million fucking dollars to pull off a, a true professional haunted house, it hasn't happened yet. But hopefully it will. We we'll have to do some TikTok videos oh. and call up Oprah. Yeah. Hey, listen, Oprah. Right. We need your help. Right. Please. <laughs> you and The Rock, please help us raise cause. money. You and The Rock, please yep. send us money so that we can help these poor children experience a true Halloween. They, they won't help us. No, they won't. But it was that's why it's funny. Well, we could set up a haunted house and we could burn it down and then they might uh-huh. help us. <laughs> Oh, you people, y'all missed it. And you just punched the Smack shit out it. of Chris. <laughs> you just got smacked, bro. Too bad we don't have video. No, we need to get video, yeah. Angie has this weird attitude about the podcast, which is, uh, don't get canceled. She keeps telling me that you're going to get us canceled. She tells me that every week. It's really funny to me because when we first started this whole talking point about this particular podcast, we discussed the fact that we were going to be saying some things that were really going to be on the edge and controversial with a lot of people. Basically be ourselves. That was what we knew we were going to be doing going in. And now all of a sudden we're afraid of what we're saying. No, no, And I don't like it. Not we. We are not afraid. (laughs) My person is I'm not afraid and I want to continue to have sex. It's not that I'm afraid. So I I don't want to be in the boat that boat is in. Yeah, don't don't shave your beard for sure. (laughs) <laughs> Let's hear what she's got to say. It's not that I want, don't want to be canceled. It's just some topics are too touchy still right now. 
No, 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 no. We... A fire? Yeah. yeah, it's a little touchy. Well, as far as I can tell, everybody in the whole world has forgotten about it. Oh, yeah. As far as I can tell as well. I don't. You don't see it on the news anywhere anymore. Yeah. They basically just wrote those people off. Yeah. Here's your $700. Catch you later. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> see you voting day. Yep. Right. Yeah. We'll be looking for you to vote blue again. <laughs> I mean, it's not like we're making jokes about the whole Titanic thing. Well, no, that's actually been long enough. It doesn't matter. You can make jokes right, about that. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, enough Although, time has passed. I don't even want to do that because, man, that's just the horrible thought. I don't even like to think about it because, oof, that's got to be horrible. Oh, yeah, but, I mean. And people made a lot of jokes while it was still going well, you down. Know, can you imagine <clears throat> going, you know, paying a million dollars or whatever the fuck they had? To, I think it was like a million dollars. It was dollars a, a lot. Piece, a lot yeah. Some ridiculous amount of money. Going, sitting in the submersible, he pulls out the Xbox controller, and you say to yourself, yeah, that was money well spent. Mm. Yeah, I don't think that's money well spent. <laughs> no, the worst thing was the 19-year-old who did not want yeah, to Yeah, he didn't want to go to the No, yeah. he didn't. Yeah. He well, really didn't. Luckily, they didn't feel it. I mean, when they imploded, it literally crushed them right. so soon that they didn't even know they were dead. So Yeah, yeah. but I'm thinking you knew it was coming. And it's really yeah. funny to watch. It's not funny at all. Don't get me wrong. It's not funny. I, that's not the word I want to use. It was really strange to hear reporters asking questions like, uh, you think you're going to recover any remains? Uh, hello, there is no remains. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Unless you're talking about the gooey sludge that's somewhere floating around and been eaten by two or three sharks already. Right. There is nothing. Right. Like, that's just Yeah, they don't understand the concept of the implosion. Yeah. 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 They don't understand the serious forces that we're involved. Right. We're talking about right. huge column of water. Yeah, it I mean, collapses right, like it, it, it collapsed in on them faster than the human brain could feel the pain of the impact. They, they died before they even knew something went wrong. Oh, no. They knew it was coming, though. Oh, I'm because sure they, they did. lost control. I'm it sure was like they radio did. transmission. Yeah, I'm sure they did. I'm sure they did. Saying, I can't slow our descent yeah. and that type of shit. So they knew they, it was about to go yeah. bad. I mean, which is the, the best part, part about it is that the guy who fucking killed them was also on the submersible that died. Yeah. Yeah, so, so he doesn't get the opportunity to kill more people. Right, yeah. 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 All right. Anyway. So, so anyway, that's, not, so I, that's also so, not so Halloween we have, we, yep, related. Well, yeah. well, it's about it death. It's about death. Yeah, <laughs> tangentially. Of course, so, this is how we are, though. We start so on a true. topic this and we a true, just this go is a true podcast. wherever we, it leads us. You're right. The way we have been doing it where we have topics and we that's not really how we talk. Right. Here. But that's okay. That's all right. Yeah, so, it's just the flow of the conversation. Yeah, the hell with it. Let's just see what happens. So, um, I'll go ahead and tell my horn house story. Not that it's that great, but so I, I don't know. I was in like junior high or some shit. I don't remember. Uh, our parents were in the JCs. If you remember that. Yeah, of and course. I, and I guess they were doing a, I guess it was for a fundraiser. I don't know. So they decided to, you know, make a little horn house where in the place where the JCs would meet. So. That would be uh, the JC home. The JC home. home, yes. So thank you. I, I am. I think I said last week I am terrible with names. So get F. Um, Megan Rogers. Yeah. So. Uh, Dad comes to me and he says, hey, Horn House Night, you want to be in it? And I was like, uh, I can't believe you fucking asked me. You should have just told me because, yeah, I'm doing it. So we go there and, you know, they're just finishing up, setting up, cutting little uh, holes in, in walls, you know, making false areas where they could stick hands out and all this kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm walking through, looking at the different rooms, setting. I'm going, this is pretty cool. But then uh, before they got finished, they led me and Dad to the room that we were going to participate in, and I never fucking left it. The entire fucking night. So I never got to see the whole house. Right. So it's kind of sucked. I could hear people screaming in terror and stuff. And I was, you know, I was like, damn it. You know, so I don't know what exactly happened in that whole house except for the room I was in. But uh, so what, uh, I was a victim. So I was just, they took some clothes and they, you know, cut it up and gave me fake blood. And they had like uh, uh, spaghetti noodles, you know, they died red you know, for guts and shit like that. So I'm laying on the table and dad was wearing his strange costume it was a gorilla costume except the head was like a fly uh, you know big fly eyes and stuff except it had a snout with teeth it was a, a weird fucking costume so i don't know exactly what the hell was supposed to be going on other than just i guess a monster right some but, kind of yeah mutation. so so i'm lying on the table and then they got like fake bushes and shit all around me so i'm screaming you know help me help me you know the whole night and uh, he's pretending like he's killing me so uh because you know everything was set up 
you know, with like cardboard and, and fake walls and stuff, the the two entrances to come in and out of the room were just made with a big hanging big plastic garbage bags. You know, two plastic bags side by side to make one door. Right. So okay, so the night's going on and uh I was just scaring people, people coming through, whatever, great. Well then, you know, there'd be lapses where there'd be a few minutes where nobody was coming through. So it was one of those times. And then I swear, I'm not making this up. The the both sides of the room, the door, the the paper bag, the garbage bags just started fluttering. And and uh me and dad were like, What the fuck was that? And then about a minute later, one of the ladies in the JCs comes walking through uh the door, goes down the other one, and grabs this little boy and drags it back. He was so scared that he ran back the wrong way to get try to get out of the haunted house and he ran through our room so fast we didn't even fucking see him. Oh, wow. We just saw the, the garbage just bags the fluttering. Of the wind so that kid was, was scared. Leaving. Yeah, that kid was scared shitless. They, yeah. I don't, so I don't know what was in that haunted house, but it must have been awesome. <laughs> that little dude with asshole and elbows. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, mean, I, I, I mean, I know y'all might be thinking I'm exaggerating, but that fucker ran through the room so fast that we did not see him. And there was nowhere else to look except out the room. So he was he was booking it. Yeah, that was that was amazing. So that's my that's my haunted house. I like it. Yeah. I've never I've never actually been to a real one because I'm gonna say it again. When we talked about horror movies, I told you I don't like to be scared. Right. right. Me either. Right. So it's not a fun thing for me. I would never want to do it. That's why I've never done it. I have no interest. You know. Yeah, Although said. saying that you don't like to be scared is one thing, but we we'd still go on roller coasters and we do all of the amusement rides that are yeah. death defying and right. Well, that's no, that's, that's a form of crazy. Again. Speaking of roller coasters. Uh oh, here we go. Halloween roller coasters? Yes. <laughs> Shaped like a pumpkin. So, you know, when I was younger, I went on roller coasters and everything, and the worst part was the drop, right? Of course. Because you went click, click, yes. click. Well, recently, two years ago, we went to an amusement park, and I rode roller coasters, and now it goes click, 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 click. <laughs> Uh, there's no anticipation whatsoever. Yeah, the technology advances are definitely Im- yeah significant. Yeah, yeah, crazy, which is great for me. Cause, <clears throat> but I mean, I was like, for my kids, I was like, man, y'all just don't get to experience right. the fear, the, yeah, the anticipation, that, yeah. the build up. The yeah. build or like up. when it brings you to the very top and it stops. R- yeah, well, they have that. They still little... have those. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, because we had it when they, they stop for like five or six seconds and then the the... and stop. Yeah, it's they still have that, but. It's that slow ride to the top where it's making loud, rickety noises yeah. that you think it's going to fall apart at any time. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's the real yeah. fear. I don't know because I don't fucking ride roller coasters. Y'all can have it. Why not? I wish I, don't I could. Do I can't ride them because I'm too big. I'm no, too I don't ride them because actually it actually creates the sensation that's created from the dropping. It, it is, it, it, I don't know how to explain it. It feels uncomfortable. You know, it doesn't, I don't know. It's, it's an uncomfortable unpleasant feeling i don't well, i don't like i don't like yeah but not you know it's not in the, is, it I, a, is it a symptom it might be yeah i have am i is it because i have asperger's i don't know but i know i don't fucking like it well i enjoyed it more when i went this time than when i was a teenager yeah like i couldn't believe that like right. that shocked me to right. my core because i used to scream yeah and yeah. i was laughing the whole right. time like I, I remember when we were young i mean on like five or six or something we went to Astro World. And uh, Texas Cyclone was a roller coaster there at Astro World. Didn't they do a loop de loop? No, that's no, 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 no. That was Miss Lightning. Lightning. Okay. Love that. Um, well, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong roller the coaster. Texas Cyclone I, I don't know. was a big wooden one. Yes. Okay. Well, it was it was, it was either the Texas hell. Cyclone or Grease Lightning. I'm not sure which one. Now that I'm telling the story. Dad only but, went on. Dad went okay. by himself on Grease Lightning. Okay. We all went on Texas Cyclone. Okay. So yeah, you and Dad and, and Stacy went on it. I remember after the ride was over, Dad cracking up laughing because he said. They got to the top, and he turned because uh, he was, you know, the way the line was, he he was seated in front of you. So you, the two of you were in the seat behind him. So they get to the top right before the drop, and he turns around, and he looks at you, and he said, "Both of y'all were white as sheets. Y'all realized y'all had fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> and y'all didn't want to be there anymore, but it was too late." <laughs> and I was, it was at part. that moment. <laughs> well, they realized. the funny thing too is, and you are older than six. I think I was like ten or something. Whatever. Because we have a picture. Okay. Oh, okay. And Dad right. took the picture, and he goes, it, we're in front of the roller coaster. And he says, okay, when I count to three, you can do thumbs up if you like it or thumbs down if you didn't. All right. I'm going to snap the picture. Okay. And we both did thumbs up. 
All right, well. Well, they liked it. But, but I mean, you wouldn't know that because we were scared shitless. Right. Like when we did, when we did everything, and yeah. it, it was almost like we had to process it to decide that we liked it. I'm noticing a theme here on the podcast, and that is every time I tell a story from my childhood, she either tells me it didn't fucking happen, she has no or memory, she don't remember or it. I'm telling it wrong. Right. Yeah, yeah that too. So I guess that will continue. I don't right. know. Right. Well, either she <laughs> doesn't remember it at, all, it at all, or she remembers it way differently than you. Yeah. So, Memories are funny. Though. Yeah, isn't that something? <laughs> well, he didn't ride the roller coaster. That's damn probably right why he don't remember it. <laughs> You're damn right. I, I took did. the picture. I had a white shirt on with stars. I think she's calling you a name without calling you yeah, a name. Yeah, I think so. Last. <laughs> anyway, go. Let's go next. <laughs> wow. Okay. We're moving yeah, on. Right. You no longer need to talk <laughs> yeah. about that shit. Shut your fucking mouth and then talk about the name. That's okay. Right. Talk about the next thing, Mr. Chris. <laughs> Point man. <laughs> All right, so I guess uh, might as well stop talking about Halloween. I mean, we got like two more fucking Halloween episodes. I want to use up all the Halloween stories. <laughs> Pet Cemetery. Remember Pet Cemetery? I do. Isn't remember. that a Halloween movie? That is a Halloween movie. Uh, did it come out? No, well, yeah. no, it is not a Halloween movie. It's a pet movie and death movie. Well, you can watch it during Halloween. Well, of course, you can watch it. <laughs> Let me mean? explain something to you. Oh, okay. Anything that's out, yes. you can watch during Halloween. Okay. That's what they call reruns oh, and videos. Oh, yep. Are you going to sit there and tell me that Die Hard is not a Christmas movie? Die Hard is 100% a Christmas movie. It is there absolutely is no a question. Movie. People who say it's not are full of it. I think you're missing my point. No, I think you're missing the point that he was trying to say yeah. that it was a scary movie that could be watched during Halloween. Right. And I agreed with him. And you were like, you fucking don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so just like when I tell a story from my childhood. Right. That's typical. I told you. She's a little bit negative. <laughs> So, See, Reagan knows her eyes, too. The so moral of the tale is, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. That's right. That is true. And, in my opinion, Pet Cemetery is a Halloween movie. Well, you that can have your opinion. That freedom of think. Freedom, freedom of think. That is Amendment number 39. That movie 39. scared the shit out of me. That little but bastard. But anyway, I thought Pet Cemetery was great because... The, the original one, not the crap yes, remake. Of course, yes, yeah. Yes. yeah, just because... It's something that you don't normally think about. It makes you put your brain in a different place, right? Yep. And I think that was that was the unique point, of, the unique part of it. Pets are scary, right? Toddlers are scary. They certainly can be, yeah. Scalpel. Well, <laughs> well, you know, we can use that to segue into another uh, topic. Well, that was the whole point. That was the point you were trying to segue and stuff. I was trying to segue smoothly. Well, you did well. Without having you to did do that pretty good. Segue. I fucked it up. Now you done fucked, fucked it up. I fucked it up. <laughs> I fucked it up. So... <laughs> So, uh, all right, now let's talk about um, something that I talk about all the time, uh, which I'm fascinated by. Yourself? Uh, it, myself. <laughs> my beard. Myself and my beard. Yes. So, uh, and that is two things. One, people who keep dangerous pets that end up killing them. I love that. Yeah. And then uh, the second thing is people who go up to wild animals that obviously are about to kill them and they try to fucking pet them or take a selfie with them. Oh, my gosh. I what love that. Jelly Stone? I love that, yeah. Oh, Did you just yeah. say Jelly Stone? Yeah. Is that a place? Yeah, Yogi Bear lives there. Are you kidding me? Did you not know that Jelly Stone is a place? No, I didn't. <laughs> Yellowstone. I know there's Yellowstone. Yeah, there's that, too. Uh, I'm sorry. You don't know Yogi about Bear Jelly Stone, Boo Boo? They steal picnic baskets constantly. <laughs> yeah, I don't like cartoons. Yeah, we know. Yes, we do know. And it's unfortunate. Maybe it's the reason why you're so negative. Maybe so. You had a poor childhood. <sighs> I think that's the case. I will we, not disagree. Can we get into some psychology? Do I need to get you a tissue? <laughs> So over the past year is when it really when I've seen seen a lot of stories about this. So I know this has been happening for a long period of time, but I guess it's being ramped up because people are becoming dumber. Um, <laughs> that's the only that's explanation. A very, that's a good explanation too because it's real. <clears throat> so, uh, if anybody in the audience uh, has not seen any of these videos, I recommend that as soon as this podcast is over, you hop on YouTube and start looking up idiots. Yeah, je- uh, <laughs> I almost said Yellowstone, you fucking bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots in Yellowstone Park who want to do stupid shit like go up to a full-grown fucking 5,000-pound bison males in full rut and try to fucking pet them and then yeah. take a selfie with them. 
thinking that you can pet yeah. a bison is just beyond. And then it ends up goring them. I, 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 Wasn't there a woman recently that jumped either into a lion's cage or a gorilla cage? They got her out, and then she went back and did it again? Uh, that sounds familiar. Yeah, that does sound familiar. And I mean, I think the second time it injured her. Whatever it was. Well, I think uh, a few years know. ago there was a woman that jumped into voluntarily jumped into a polar bear exhibit and they, and they were trying to take her on that polar bear bit her flat on the ass. Yes, <laughs> there was a video of it. That bear was like, "No, you ain't going." To... Yeah. Yep. But this woman did it twice. Well. Like seriously, the second time you need to be committed to a hospital because. Yep. yep. Common sense don't work. Right. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love. Bison. If I saw one, I'd want to take a picture of one. But from the safety of my car, correct. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't get out. Oh yeah, that that animal that's uh fifty times larger than me. Yeah, it'd be no problem. Let me just go right up to him. <laughs> yeah, just gonna touch him. You know, not really gonna bother him a whole lot. It's there's, okay. It's there's even fun. a video. There's a video, and this guy ended up getting arrested. Although I'm not really sure how he survived. There was a bison, a male bison. Blocking traffic in Yellowstone. So he's just standing in the road. So both ways, traffic is blocked. So, they, you know, what are they going to do? People honk the horn. He don't want to move. So this fucking guy gets out of his car under the assumption that he can scare the bison out of the roadway. So he literally goes up to the bison going, Bruh! trying to scare him. So at first the bison's like, you know, just ignoring him. But after a while, he's like, I don't put up with shit like this. So he turns and he runs the guy off the road, you know. Uh, so the guy got arrested for... You know, aggravating, aggravating the bison. yeah, aggravating the bison. Right. I don't remember what the exact uh, title of the charge was, but he's lucky that that bison didn't gore his ass. And I don't understand what was going through his mind that he thought that he was going to go up to that bison and go boo, and he was going to jump off the road. I, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't understand. I call that the Disney effect. I really do, <laughs> because you know people watch Disney movies where you know you get lost in the jungle and you see a tiger and the tiger fucking tries to take care of you some right, shit right. because they know you're a good person and all that. That is not how nature works. So I, I think that we can blame Disney for this. What Correct. was the one we saw, Bodie, where like the people were at some kind of like African safari or something. They had these lines by the trees, so they figured they were going to get real close to the tree to take the picture with the lines behind them, and then one of the lions turned and they had to run to their car. You remember? Mm-mm. <gasps> Good story. I remember. I remember <laughs> well, actually, it wasn't uh, the story. I remember it was not a lion; it was a tiger. What? Well, and it was in tiger. China. And the mom's do- and the mom and the husband weren't. I mean, the husband wasn't injured, but the mom got injured and the daughter got killed. Oh, the daughter got killed. Yeah, because okay, they got maybe. out to go t- see the tiger at a drive-through safari. Yes, 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 yes. What was her name Carol Baskin? <laughs> <laughs> no, Carol Baskin feeds people to her cat. That's oh, correct. Oh. oh, no, not all people. Only people who used to be married to her. Well, I know a lot of women allegedly that people to Allegedly. I want to get canceled. Allegedly she did. Allegedly? Yes. Yeah, she might that sue a, us. That is a great word. Allegedly. You really? That is my it favorite word. It just gets word. you out of trouble. Because you can say anything you want right, about somebody, allegedly. and you just say allegedly, and then they can't, they can't do anything to you for it. That's right. Allegedly, Chris likes to fondle two-year-olds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We have taken this joke way too far. That is not the direction I wanted to go with this joke. We have got to start scripting this podcast. All right? That is not funny. No one finds that funny. Well, but I did say allegedly. So I'm good. <laughs> I'm covered. <laughs> Insurance policy in effect. Why did they go? You should have said beat. I don't know why. Well, jealous it's the, the whole beat. Halloween story where he scares two year olds and oh, jumps I get out it. on them. And I get it. Boo, right? You're getting me back for that. So. You know, I figured the two-year-olds wanted some revenge. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't funny, sir. Wasn't funny. Uh, hey, I thought it was pretty good. Did you not think it was good? Uh, I'll ask. And, and she's <laughs> And I don't think anything is funny. That's correct. So it was a win. <laughs> she thinks nothing is funny, and she got a laugh out of it. That's right. Okay, well, whatever. We're going to go ahead and edit that part out What later. about Siegfried and Roy? Yeah. Don't they, didn't they also own a... Pet that would kill them? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, they own several. I guarantee you, I saw this coming years ago, many years before it happened, because I, there was a thing where it was on, like, Entertainment Tonight, where, uh, I don't remember which one was which. 
uh, which one was the one that with the dark hair? The one that actually got well, killed. One was no gay, idea. and Absolutely the other one was no gay. Idea. One, yeah, right, yeah. Right. It was one of the gay ones. It was right. one of the gay ones. We have no idea who's that, who. Yep. So, one of their white tigers had cubs. All right. So, Entertainment Tonight is there interviewing them, wanting to see the cubs. So, the one that actually got mauled that ended the show, whatever one that was. We don't know. I don't remember which one it was. <laughs> so, the one that was mentally debuffed. Yeah, so this that's both this, of them. this fucking guy is in the cage with the tiger and the tiger cubs. Right. Right? He's literally laying in the cage with the tiger, petting him. And so the people come to video the segment, so they're trying to, you know, they get next to the cage, they're trying to fucking video the tiger. Well, the tiger mom gets upset, and she just lunges at the cage. Mm. And she's, you know, ah, and scratches the cage. And right. he's sitting there calm as shit going, yeah, she's upset with you guys. She's trying to protect her cubs and me. Right. Oh, and, and I, yeah, that's what he said. And no. I remember thinking, this guy's gonna get eaten by a tiger. And then, so when it happened, I literally, when I saw in the video, I went, I knew it. Roy's the one that got the Roy, tiger. yeah, I knew it. And yeah. I don't know anything about tigers, but I can tell you that placing yourself in between a mother and her cub right. is probably the worst possible place you could be. And I don't know nothing. So clearly, you got to know a little something. If you own this tiger, you shouldn't have known. That's not the spot for you. Yeah, right? but the best part was the tiger did it on stage. Yep. Like, wanted the world to see, allegedly. Allegedly. Because <laughs> I run this. We, you know, we could start a deadly TikTok challenge or the Siegfried and Roy challenge, and it would be uh, find a mother tiger with her cubs and take a selfie with them. <laughs> yes, yes. Take a selfie with a mother tiger and cub. That yeah. is the Siegfried and Roy challenge. We just did it. We created it. Yep, there it, it is. TikTok. Well, <laughs> so it's not our fault if people do it. because we're the, Yeah, we have to say that we're not yeah, telling we, you. Yeah, do we don't want people to do this. Don't go We don't do want it. people to actually. Because it's actually yeah. pretty stupid. Yeah, yeah, we're just thinking, man, that would be a crazy thing to do. <laughs> you Allegedly. Probably, you, could, you would probably get a lot of likes and follows if you did the challenge successfully. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, but we don't, want, we don't think you should do it. Right, right. Not a good idea. Not at all a good idea. So, so actually, there used to be a show. Uh, I don't remember what channel used to come on. It was called Fatal Attractions. But with the Discovery. wonder of the internet, you could look it up. So um, I think it only had two seasons. And each episode, it would show different people who had stupid pets, like, you know, 25-foot pythons and shit like that, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cobras. Oh, yeah, right. 40-foot <laughs> Nile crocodiles that they kept in their house, you know. And so uh, every scorpions. every episode, like it would show different people that got killed by their own pets, you know. And I used to watch that show and be like, "What the fuck?" I mean, I, I would love to own a tiger or a lion. Don't get me wrong, would love it, but they would be in a cage that I would look at. I wouldn't fucking go get in the cage with them and try to roll around with them. And uh, if anybody if anybody keeps hearing this fucking annoying sound during the podcast, it is Bodie. <laughs> I told you, I'm trying my best. It sounds like this. It's my water. I'm trying to drink a little sip of water. That's all I'm doing. I think I need that in my life. Well, next time, don't put ice in it. But who drinks hot-ass water? Well, put a straw and stop shaking it. A straw would be the answer. We could make that a poll. What was the unprofessional sound in this week's <laughs> yeah. episode? Yeah, but you already told me the answer. Well, yeah, so next so week. Next, next week, time yeah, you yeah. hear a silly sound in the background that you don't know what it is, you can just always guess what it is. What was the sound that you heard? Today? Or you could say, were you annoyed by Bodie's loud drinking? <sighs> or were you more annoyed by Reagan's negativity? <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're going to say that Session at all. two has begun. Mm. Are you attracted to my beard? <laughs> 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 What's up with the chuckle? That was weird. Are you attracted to your beard? I'm telling you what, we are in deep shit today, buddy. Yeah. We're catching it from oh everywhere. My you God. already got popped in the back of the head. Yeah, I guess that man. couch is uh, pretty comfortable. <laughs> I guess. So I'll be, I'll it's be... not the man's night tonight. No, it sure isn't. Yeah, whatever. Well, ladies, feminism. Yeah, yeah. Take it take, from here. Yeah, there we'll it is. just sit back take quietly. Take it out. Yeah. Y'all take it. Take it here. Go. So I have kind of a funny story about like that. So we'll I heard um, these people we'll talking, and they were saying how the biggest snake was caught in Florida. Okay. And and they said, oh, what kind was it? It was a condo. Mm. It was a condo snake. Condo snake. And the the guys going, 
I've never heard of that kind of snake. It was the biggest snake. I've, I've never heard of it. Yeah, you know, a condo. And so the other, the third person says, you mean an anaconda? Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. A condo. Yeah. I was in Florida and accidentally left my zipper undone. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> It's all my fault, to be honest with you. <laughs> Allegedly. Oh, now I have the song stuck that's in my head. Yeah, now we're now I'm singing that. My anaconda don't want none. Okay. Well, but now we can never put this episode on YouTube. <laughs> we'll be struck down for copyright, <laughs> copyright yeah, infringement. For, for anaconda. I thought it was just if you played the actual song. No, I don't even think you can sing it. Really? Because YouTube sucks. Yeah, YouTube is serious. Although we do plan on being on YouTube yeah. one day. But, uh, one day but we're, we're not there now, but they so suck. we're good. They suck. Yeah, we're not on video. No. We yeah. have no video. We, need to we have no camera. We, need to we can't on. afford a camera. No. If no. you feel like helping us out, you can hit the little yeah. link at the bottom of the description. <laughs> if you want to see our faces and these sexy, sexy beards, then yes. uh, put some of that sweet, sweet donation money in the link below. Yes. Yep. Or contact us and we'll give you the address to send us the equipment. Yeah, just uh, any kind of camera will do. <laughs> yeah, because it's better than the one we have now. Right. Even if it's like a doorbell <laughs> camera or whatever. Whatever works, you know. It doesn't matter. We sh we drink water and make ice noises, so any kind of camera will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's going to send you a cup with a straw. A sippy cup? <laughs> But it's just, I don't know. I guess I'm, uh, it was a cho poor choice, and next time it will be you chosen. You know what? Better. We've never done a podcast before. We're learning. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> we, we've done nine before, technically. Nine shows. Yeah, so. because this is well, number ten. We've meant, done it this nine is the only times. We should have learned a few things. Yeah, we should have by now. We should have. <laughs> we, we should have. <laughs> we're not good at learning, clearly. Yep. Oh. So, all right. So, I guess uh, people are tired of hearing us. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the movie recommendation. Movie time. Yeah. Oh, honey. Oh, yay. It's I not a bad one. No, I think you like this one. Board. You might actually so like So I can this go. One. Boo. <laughs> oh, then there goes the Halloween theme. Oh, it's boo. <laughs> <laughs> boo shit. <laughs> I think you. <laughs> That was pretty good, Reagan. Right? I gotta give you That's that one. Bullshit. <laughs> I gotta give you that one. That was pretty good. Oh my goodness, it was not good, by the way. Allegedly, it was. You bad. just laughed. I know because it was so bad. It's funny sometimes. Things can be so horrible that they're funny. You wish you'd have thought of it. You wish you'd have thought about the zipper being down. That's what <laughs> <laughs> I know you think about it all the time. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> so, movie recommendation. Yeah, so let's do this movie. So this this movie recommendation, I've been trying to do a lot of hidden gems, but this one uh, is probably going to be a little more well known than some of the other movies I've recommended. However, uh, Angie wanted me to recommend this one tonight, so that's what I'm doing. Because I'm trying not to sleep on the couch tonight. So yeah. <clears throat> so I, I've already said that uh, Train to Busan is my favorite zombie movie. But this is my second favorite zombie movie. And okay. this was actually my favorite zombie movie until Train of Busan okay. came out. So this movie came out in 1985. Mm -hmm. Directed by Dan O'Bannon, who wrote the horror movie Alien. Oh, nice. So, yeah, yeah, that's right. Nice, nice. So this, is, uh, this movie is, I guess, another horror comedy. Um, it's, but uh, it's amazing. It, it is it's just a spectacular... It really is a spectacular zombie movie. Because it has moments of, you know, real... Tension and you know, horror movie moments, but then again, it's got a lot of silly shit in it. And that movie is The Return of the Living Dead. The Return, the Return of the Living Dead, not to be confused with any of the, Night of the yeah, Living Dead. George Romero right. of the Living Dead movies because this has no relation. This is The Return of the Living Dead. Well, why does The Return of the Living Dead sound like a sequel? Well. It does sound like a sequel, but it actually has context within the movie. And what happens is that um, the plot of the movie is that this guy is starting work his very first night at a medical supply warehouse. So where, you know, places that will sell, you know, medical skeletons and like dog, you know, stuffed dogs that are cut in half so you can see their insides and all this kind of stuff. 
uh, the, so it's this warehouse that supplies all his materials, and this guy's very first job working there. So it's his first night, and he's getting introduced. And while he's there, the guy that's training him uh, actually talks about the George Romero movie, Night of the Living Dead, and he says it's based on a true story. Oh, okay. Yeah. True and story. It says it's based on a true story, and that what happened was the government <clears throat> had created, you know, had created some chemical that created zombies, and then they covered it up. Hmm. So the incident that's in the movie is based on real life. They just changed it a little bit so okay. that people would, yeah. So um, he says, Bullshit. he says, yeah. <laughs> so he says that they actually, the reason why he knows this is a fact is because the government fucked up as they do and and they actually sent one of the containers of that's holding a zombie to them instead of to wherever it was that they were going to hide, you know, all the zombies that created this uh, incident. So he's like, yeah, right. So the guy's, no, I'm telling you, it's downstairs. Let me show you. So he takes him downstairs, and yep, sure enough, there's a fucking container with a zombie in it, and they fuck around with it a little bit, and they ended up um, breaking it open, so the zombie comes back to life. So that's why it's called The Return of the Living Dead. So uh, what happens is, of course, the zombie gets out, starts creating other zombies, and you know, basically just starts building up a, a horde of zombies that uh, a group of people end up having to, you know, the typical zombie movie having to defend themselves. A group of people join together trying to defend themselves against, you know, uh, a malicious horde of zombies. Yeah. And uh, there are every s- zombie movie. Right. Every zombie right, exactly. Okay. The plot of every single zombie movie ever. However, this movie is just done so it's it's done with such a fun attitude about it, you know. I mean like the zombies can talk in this one and it's actually interesting because in the movie the zombies actually explain to you why they try to eat people's brains and stuff. Oh. I'm not gonna tell you why you watch the movie. Right. But but I mean, Zombies it's pretty good. That talk. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like they, and you know, in a silly way, like there's a part where this, amb- uh, this, yeah, this. I well, want to eat your face. Never. Yeah, that's exactly how they sound. Yeah. <laughs> good imitation, good impression. So, like for example, I'll just give one. Allegedly. Uh, allegedly. Of the zombies talking, so you get a feel for how this movie is. That these, uh, this ambulance shows up, and uh, the zombies kill the um, people driving the ambulance. So. Then one of the zombies grabs the radio of the ambulance and he speaks into the radio and he says, send more paramedics. Like that. Yeah, that kind of thing. So, mm. yeah. So it's a lot Order of... Enough it's a, right, meals. exactly. Exactly. Meals on wheels. Right, exactly. So it is... Uh, I didn't realize what I just said uh, didn't come across as that funny, but I swear to you, the movie is fucking funny and awesome. <laughs> so it stars... So does uh, he say it like... More yeah, his his uh, voice is kind of fucked. More paramedics. No, 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 like yeah. Gay, like no, you said it. no, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. It, it wasn't quite. It wasn't quite as homo as I said it. But uh, are there gay zombies in the movie? There might be. I didn't ask them. I mean, there's nothing wrong it's with a that. Don't ask. Don't tell. Uh, zombie movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love it. I yeah. Love so that this this movie this recommendation. Right, this movie stars Clue Gulliger, which. You, Clue. Clue Gulliger. If you see his face, you'll know who he is. Yep, you'll know exactly who it is when you see him. And then, of course, the very famous Linnea Quigley. Mm. Oh, Linnea Quigley. Yeah. I mean, if you've ever seen a horror movie with titties, Linnea a girl Quigley. with titties, and then it probably had Linnea Quigley. Oh, sh- yeah, this those are not my kind of This movie does have boobs. In fact, it has full frontal. It has full frontal. What? Of which Linnea Quigley swears that it was a bodysuit, that uh, she wasn't really full frontal, but uh, lies. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. believe it. I don't believe that. I don't care. I don't if believe it that. looks like it's the real thing, yeah, it looks it's good real. enough for it me. It looks real. It looks real. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure it's lies. That, uh, okay. It was full frontal. All right, I'm it in. was full frontal. So, if you want to watch uh, I do. titties, I do. full frontal nudity, and zombies, I do. The Return of the Living Dead from 1985 is for you. I love it. Yep. Excellent and recommendation, Sir Christopher. Thank you. Finally. Finally. Getting recognized. Well, we haven't for your seen knowledge, it yet. Allegedly. You'll like it. I can't believe you haven't seen this movie. I'm surprised I, you haven't. I, really I am can't. actually surprised you haven't seen that movie. But that just goes to show why I, once again, why I recommend the movies. So that's it. Movie recommendation. Awesome. Another episode done. And uh, we'll see you next week. Well, wait. We have oh. to talk about what how we, we are about? on all of the different oh, yeah, platforms. Okay. Well, go ahead. Take and it away. I have to make sure that people put that five star review. That sweet, sweet and five star we review. We don't care if you liked it or didn't like it. We want five stars, period. <laughs> If you got this far, you just put us to five stars. Just click it. It's not that difficult to do, right? <laughs> right. I'm not it's asking a whole lot. I'm not asking you to take it out of your pocket or get, come out of your Actually, wallet. Actually, that's just... not true. You did ask somebody to take money out of their pocket yeah, just like five minutes to. ago. This is Allegedly. not if they want to. This is not if they want to. This is mandatory. Click that number five star and submit because it's just <laughs> a click. 
It doesn't hurt you in any kind of way, shape, or form. Make sure, make it happen. Cookie cook. Right? And we're on Twitter or X, X. and uh, Facebook and some other social media stuff. Check us out. Look for yep. us. Instagram. Spotify, yep. Amazon, yep. iHeartRadio. Yep. Check check Facebook Radio every Public. single day of this month. I'm recommending a different horror movie every day yes. to watch for the entire month yes. of October. So uh, keep up with that. You can see the movies I've already recommended. And I'll have another movie tomorrow on the list. I'm going to do one for all 31 nights. Yeah, and as, I'll, a, as so, a reminder... We told him this in the last episode, but our very own Sir Christopher has a Halloween ritual where he watches a different horror movie every night of the month for the entire month of October, culminating on a nice end of the Halloween, October 31st, our horror movie. So Double feature on 31st. Double nice feature double on feature. the Halloween this year. Yep. So he will be putting on Facebook the movie that he is watching each one of those nights, every night, for the entire month of October. So go check that out. See what he's watching. Maybe it's something that you want to check out. I would like to make a disclaimer that uh, the opinions of Chris and his movies are not those of everyone on the podcast. I think we've made that clear. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that everyone is aware. But it's a good disclaimer, though. Okay, just make just sure. Just so we don't get sued. That's for correct. Horrible movie. Now, people do actually look forward to Chris's list. Though. Yeah, there are people that wait all year for me to post this list of movies. There that are is, also, that is a fact. That is a fact. There are also people who take pictures with dangerous animals. There are also Ooh, people. Ooh, that hurts. There <laughs> are also people who walk up to bisons and pat them on the butt. There are also people who get in a cage with a mama tiger and their cub. That is a fact. So there are a lot of kind of people in this world. <laughs> and those are Chris. your kind of people. That's your kind of people. Yeah, because then I can talk about them and make fun of them. I love it. Yeah, I love me too. Those people. Me too. But I think that's it for tonight, guys. That's all we have to say. I'm going to start by saying Big Dog is out. You guys may close your own way. Big Dog out. <laughs> uh, all right, I guess I got to come up with my own little catchphrase. Uh, little Dog out. <laughs> Bye.